What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? I am Safety Scissors. And I'm excited. <laughs> Duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's the symbol for excited? Sure. Okay. But today, Very excited. today we're going to talk about dresses. We're not just going to talk about dresses. Oh. Guys, this is the first wedding dress haul, mm -hmm. as you could tell from the title. Um, this is the first wedding dress haul, which means this is the first time that I'm going to be putting on a wedding dress mm -hmm. with the idea of marrying you. And I'm... I'm so excited because unlike other wedding dress hauls you may watch, um, those are all always fun and I love watching them, but this is actually me searching for a dress. Mm -hmm. One of these dresses could be my wedding dress and I'm freaking out about it actually. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, why is he here if I'm going to be trying on dresses? And it's because his opinion matters the most to me. Um, I always ask him if he likes my outfits. I always ask him if I look okay and like this. I'm like, does this make me look weird? And he's like, yeah. She <laughs> knows. Something. She knows. I'll be 100 percent honest with her about how something looks or yeah. fits on her, um, because I learned a long time ago, don't lie to somebody, especially when they're like, oh, does this make me look a certain way? And you're like, no. And then they find out that it makes them look a certain way. Yeah, honesty is a little bit more my style mm -hmm. when it comes to that I've, if something's making me look really bad mm -hmm. please tell me but be nice mm -hmm. about it but i really trust your opinion mm -hmm. and it's not like a you're gonna remember the dresses at all you don't even remember like i don't i probably couldn't identify the sweaters that we did in the hall yesterday so, yeah so, we filmed that yesterday so, so i probably couldn't identify them in your drawers right now so yeah <laughs> and i think one of them is literally sitting right there and he's probably like that might be one i don't know <laughs> it's the one that looks yeah. like coffee Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Um, but no, so, and also, we're not very traditional. Like, As we've said. So, to us, it's more about having fun and finding something that she loves and that I enjoy, too. So. Yeah. So, he's going to be helping me with every try-on that I can have him for. Mm -hmm. um, so, anytime we go to a store, if that's a thing, and anytime we do one of these try-on hauls, he's going to be helping me with his opinions mm -hmm. because what I see in the mirror isn't always what other people are gonna see. Mm -hmm. I've always had a very skewed vision of my body, so I feel like having somebody who really has an honest opinion, but also a positive honest opinion about me is really helpful mm -hmm. to help me see, no, this doesn't look like garbage. This is actually fine. Mm -hmm. So we have five dresses today. Um, they're very much the style I was thinking I was going to go okay. with. I figured I'd start with stuff I was interested in before I tried to branch out and try something I just don't even know. Um, they're very A-line and they're mostly white. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a little surprise. So, Ooh. um, these are all from Shein mm. and every single one of these dresses was under $50 each. Mm -hmm. Um, good news about this, they have a great return policy, mm -hmm. so if I don't like any of them, all I have to do is print a shipping label and send them back along their way, which I'm planning on doing tomorrow if, I mean, I'm, I won't like at least four of them. So, the goal is to keep one of them as a potential option, mm -hmm. unless I just don't like them, and then I'll just send them all back and try again. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of ready. ready. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Are you guys ready? You Let's ready? do this. <laughs> So before we bring out the next dress, I actually wanted to tell you guys a thing. I bought sleeves. So these are, who, who are these made by? Double Platinum, I don't know. It's a, uh, it's a dancewear company actually. I bought lace sleeves from them with a beautiful lace pattern and it has like a, a turtleneck kind of feel and the, the sleeves go all the way down and they have little thummy holes So and they're super stretchy. I'm gonna be wearing this most likely wearing this underneath the dress so that I can have sleeves and I don't have to be hindered by, well, I need a long sleeve dress because my arms are actually kind of little. They're very thin. So a lot of sleeves are just too big on me and I don't have the money for alterations. So I figure if I could just get my own sleeves and I tried these on, these are perfect. They're absolutely perfect. And it also gives me that high neckline I wanted. Basically, I can take these dresses and turn them into what I want. And it's a pure white, so it's gonna match pretty much pure white. And it goes down to, I would say here. So a low back dress isn't gonna work with this, but at least I have this. So I just wanted to let you know that's a thing that I'll be doing when I try these on today. So Sean is grabbing me the first dress and I have no idea which one we decided would be first because I'm too excited to think about details. So 
this will literally be the first time I put on a wedding dress with the idea of marrying Sean. So I'm like freaking out. Ah, okay, here's the first one. I didn't mean to scream like that, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is an A-line and it's got a sheer lace top and it's got a sweetheart neckline underneath that. The fabric is actually really, I'm very surprised. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy. Like this is a heavy dress for $50. And it's got some detail on it. It's got like pearl beads around the top. And let's see if we can get it closer. Pearl beads around the top and around the waistline. They go on the back, but they don't go around the waist on the back. Yeah. They're only on the front. And I guess that's so that the zipper mm -hmm. can function. It has a sheer layer over a lacy layer. I'm getting there, hold on. Yeah, a sheer layer over a lacy layer over a satin layer. So this is pretty good quality mm -hmm. and it's soft. It's one of the shapes I was really looking at. I think mm -hmm. the only thing I don't like about it is the pearls. They're just a little too girly for me. And if you guys can't tell by my outfit, if you don't know me before, or if you know me, um, you know, girly is not really my thing. So little pearl beads is not kind of what I'm interested in. I've always but... grown up seeing like pearls as like very old fashioned, very elderly but they're great, they're but beautiful they are but it's just never been something i was like oh my gosh those are the coolest things so yeah like, mm -hmm. but yeah so oh my god it really has some weight yeah. to it i'm kind of excited did you put this on a walmart hanger yes you did <laughs> all right Look, so you said hang it hey like, okay. it goes with the price point okay all right let's try it on <laughs> okay i'm in a wedding dress <laughs> oh my god so um i learned a thing and it's that lace and lace don't go together. Uh, if they're two different lace patterns, because I had my lacy top underneath and it was lace over lace. And I was like, well, then that's not gonna work. So I just got a simple white leotard out of my closet. Obviously I would have to find something else to work as sleeves, but from afar, I love this look. I absolutely love this look. So it fits pretty well. It would need to be taken in a little bit unless I, my size changed by that time. So don't ever get alterations done until closer to the date, by the way. Um, it, I think it fits really, really well. It goes all the way down to the floor. So I know when you buy a dress online, you are worried that it's not gonna go down on the floor. I am five foot five and I'm stepping on it. So there's at least a few extra inches. I would say up to five nine, it's gonna pretty much go down to the floor. Um, I don't know what kind of shoes I'm wearing as far as height, but I do know that they're combat boots, so at least an inch. Um, I'll come closer so you guys can see the pattern. So, wow, the lighting changed, sorry. Uh, yeah, you can see it definitely is like a decent fit, and yeah, I would need a different top. That's not going to work. <laughs> so, I say for overall quality... This could be somebody's wedding dress. This is absolutely beautiful. I feel like I'm going to get married. I have a mirror over here, so if I keep looking down into the right, that's why. I feel like I'm gonna go get married in this dress. It is a little see-through, I noticed, because I can see my Leo line. <laughs> so there's that. Make sure you are aware that these can be a little see-through because they're white. But it's heavy, it feels good, it feels princessy. I love it, I absolutely love it. It's just not the dress for me, so. I'm gonna give this a solid eight for quality, honestly, but it lost two points just because it wasn't for me. So let's try the next one. Okay, so that was something, but let's try dress number two. This is a much different style, I think, if he's pulling out the one I think. Yes, okay, so we're looking at a very Grecian style, which honestly is not something that I really wanted, but I love just the flowy, bohemian kind of look. It doesn't have any lace at all. Lace isn't necessarily my thing, but you know, I wanted to give it a shot. I don't know that this is going to work. I just realized this has boob cups. <laughs> so you need boobs <laughs> when you, to wear boob, boob cups. <laughs> I can't say that word. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have those, so I don't know how that's gonna work. But what I love about this one and why I got it is because it has this gorgeous, I mean, it goes all the way down to the bottom of the dress, mm -hmm. little chiffon thing that hangs behind me. So this is why I shouldn't do fashion videos because I just don't know what I'm talking about. Look, you used a big word. I just said the flowy thing. So. Yeah, so hold the hanger, please. Mm -hmm. So essentially it's a one shoulder is what it would look like. And I'm pretty excited about it just because it's definitely one that I'm 
it's not the top of my list as far as what I would want. But again, it has some weight to it. This mm -hmm. is a lot of weight. They definitely intended for this to be either a wedding or at least a prom dress. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got chiffon on chiffon on, let me say like microfiber. Mm -hmm. So it's gorgeous. It needs a steaming. These yeah. just came out of the package. So please just don't judge. So Up close, you guys can see. Yeah, it's got a lot of ruching on the top. And I'm excited to see what it looks like. I'm a little scared because of the uh, the in included boob cups. Mm -hmm. But hey, maybe for some of you guys that's good. But for me, that just means I might have to put something in there. <laughs> I don't know. So let's try it on and see what this looks like. Okay, so first of all, this dress is a little big because it's like definitely not sitting where it's supposed to. So you have to imagine it up here, but I'm gonna let it fall. Before we get into this dress, I never asked Sean's opinion about the last dress, and I think he was too jaw on the floor to see me in a wedding dress to really say anything. So he's off camera, but he's here. What did you think of the last dress? <laughs> it was pretty. It was a very pretty dress. Was it the one that I can envision seeing you walk down the aisle in? No, not at all. Yeah, it, it had I, some elements to it that just the, weren't me. the style I could see. The style is why I yeah. got that one. It was, you know, the A-line, the mm -hmm. high neck. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted, mm -hmm. but not that particular dress. All right, so I've got my lace sleeves on. I'm very excited. They feel super good. And thummy holes, guys. <laughs> it's like that dress. Make it a sweater. But wait. <laughs> All right, so this has, like, Grecian-inspired draping and ruching, which I really like. Again, you have to envision it a little higher. Um, it kind of just goes straight down, which isn't what I want. I do want it to go out just a little bit. I love this. I feel so, I guess I have this like Princess Leia-ness about me or like, what was her name, Khaleesi? I just feel epic mm -hmm. with this, like, like I'm from a different time mm -hmm. or like standing on a Greek aisle. I don't know, I could do that all day, but um, Overall, I like it. It does play nicely with the lace, in my opinion. It may not to you guys. Go ahead and let me know. Maybe because like there's room between here and here, so if we add a little fabric, that, oh, yep, that, that makes it much better if it sits right on the seam. Again, my mirror's over here, so. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I don't think it's my dress. Also, it's see-through. It is super see-through, so mm -hmm. just be aware of that because like I'm a different color here than I am here, so. But yeah, um... What do you think? I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it would be beautiful for a themed shoot or a movie or TV show. But as far as, and I think it could be definitely someone's beautiful, like theme based wedding. Are you having fun? <laughs> yeah, that would be so much fun. But as far as the wedding dress, I, I don't know. I, I think it, I like this one more than I like the last one. Okay, all right, that's good to know. I, I don't know that I like it, and they say you should have that I love it feeling. Mm -hmm. It's a dress I'm gonna wear for five hours. So I don't, in my opinion, I don't need to love it to the point where I wanna cry. Mm -hmm. But I do think this is beautiful and anyone would love to have this as a wedding dress. Um, again, it is a little, if it fit better, I might like it better, but it's a little small or a little big. I'm a little small. Mm. Um, the boob cups are a problem. I forgot to mention that. There's a lot of space right here, like a lot of space. So I would, have to do something about that <laughs> maybe that's why they're not maybe it's why it's too big it was like well we expected boobs and I'm like yeah so do a lot of people <laughs> so but yeah I I think it's absolutely gorgeous I love it with the sleeve I would be happy to get married in this tomorrow mm -hmm. but I don't think it's my dress so let's move on okay so dress number three <laughs> And typically at a bridal appointment at a salon, you would try on between three and five dresses. Um, unless it's a long appointment, then you might try on like 10 or 12. But this is a decent amount for one appointment that I'm having in my bedroom. So, come on in. Okay, so this one's very different. Um, I don't know how the lace sleeves are going to work with this because it isn't very lacy. Mm -hmm. It's so different. I showed this to Alex and he goes, no. Um, but we'll see what you guys think. I actually kind of like it. It has fringe. So let's get a little closer. It's got fringe on the sleeves. Mm -hmm. So on the sleeve holes. Yeah. And also go back. It has a little bit of a plaid pattern with sequins. 
So it's a little dance costumey, to be honest, but I figured I'd give it a shot. It's definitely not even the neckline I ever wanted, but again, wanted to give it a shot. Might look really good, this over the high neck lace. Mm -hmm. We have no idea. Um, it's a taffeta feel on the bottom, and it is very heavy. Mm -hmm. So your right arm's getting a workout today, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, it's got a huge taffeta layer. Actually, that's it. Just one skirt. Mm -hmm. So, okay. This might be a little see-through. <laughs> White leggings it is. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm. it's got a little mesh panel here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to look sheer, mm -hmm. I guess. Look nude. It's the modesty panel. What do you think about this one? I am not a big fan of fringe, but... But it's fun! Yeah, this is probably not going to work for me, but hey, let's try it on and see what happens. Okay, so, big shocker, I love this one. Um, I think the fringe actually looks really classy. And it did on the model, like on the hanger, the fringe does not look good at all. It does not look classy, it, does, it just looks like a dance costume, but on it just gives it this little extra something. I gotta be careful though, it's sticking to the um, lace, so I'm a little scared, but this cut plays so nicely with this top. That's part of the reason I got it. Um, this also is the kind of dress you'd need a crinoline with, you because it's just, without it, it's just, okay, bunch of taffeta just chilling, but if you get a crinoline, it would sit so beautifully out, like look at that. Like, I don't know how to make it go out. I don't know. I don't know anything about clothes. But here I am. And it's such a big skirt that you could really have a lot of fun with it. Look at me. I'm playing dress up. <laughs> yeah, the back is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, does the back play nice with Yeah, the, the line for the uh, zipper Yeah, has got like a thick on either side. And it goes in line with the zipper in the middle. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't even check that with the other dress. Mm -hmm. Oops. Um, I'm trying not to get the fringe to stick, but... Okay, what do you think? I think this one, at first, I thought this was the weirdest looking dress. I did not like it when it was hanging, but the moment I saw you in it, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm very surprised that I like this one. <laughs> I'm shocked. Um, and you can see the plaid pattern, really, because it's sequin, you can see it shine, and everything's kind of working together. I love it, I absolutely love it. This is a contender, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm surprised at that. Uh, it is a little big, so I'd have to have it taken in, but what wedding dress isn't gonna be a little big, so you'd have to envision it up just a little bit and tighter, but I would need a crinoline, which is gonna up the cost, and I have to factor that in. This was the first dress of the day that really gave me that like smile feeling. <laughs> I don't know why I love this. It's, it's just different. so, it's so different. It's Maybe it's because I'm a performer, but yeah. Um, I love it. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you guys think. Also, sorry, I flashed you all my socks. <laughs> I was like, what color socks should I wear? White. Yeah. So, all right, let's uh, see what the next one looks like, but this is definitely a contender. All right, dress number four, one I'm very excited about. This, and it's not showing it. Right now it looks like a choir dress, but let me just explain. This is an off the shoulder. Mm -hmm. So, there, that'll give you more of a mm. good representation of what it's supposed to look like. I can't get over how soft this lace is. I just mm -hmm. put my hands on it and I'm just like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So it's very light, mm -hmm. but heavy. It's not as heavy as the last one. That probably mm -hmm. is why it feels so light. This lace is so soft. I don't think I own anything this soft. Like I could pet this dress. And the I inside guess- The layer is really soft too. I guess I wouldn't wear my lace top with this. I wouldn't need to because it has sleeves mm -hmm. and it's off the shoulder, so that would really be weird if I did. So I'll probably try this one on without it. Mm -hmm. um, I love the satin belt that it has mm -hmm. and just the skirt is so full, but light at the same time. This would be really good for like casual Is wedding. this called tulle? Um, yes. It's two layers of Yeah, tool. it's because this isn't chiffon like the other dresses. You are seriously hiding my face. With oh, this. I'm sorry. You're just like, here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there just trying to look at yeah, it and realize <laughs> I was going over. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm good I'm at this. I'm just like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I am no Randy Finoli. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe you know who that is. <laughs> He's funny. Yeah, he is. Oh, so, all right. all right. I'm 
I, it feels so soft, I can't mm -hmm. wait to put this on. So let's do it. Okay. Um, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. First of all, this is so soft and I'm really comfortable. And having been married before, I can tell you that that is a very important thing on your wedding day is to be comfortable because you don't want to be like, itchy or constantly pulling up your dress which I do need to mention I didn't get one strapless dress because I did that before and I spent the whole night going oh gosh you know also not having boobs really makes it so that your dress falls down if you don't yeah so um I am in love with this dress I I think it's absolutely stunning it's very heavy on the bottom it allows me to show a little skin but nowhere that I don't want to show it the only problem is that this is huge this thing is not my size. I, I would say I'm pinching a good couple of inches back here. You can see the back is so pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean, what do you think? I think this one is absolutely beautiful. This is my favorite one so far. <laughs> I think, you know, I think the shape of it and the design of it is absolutely beautiful on you. Of course, it's a little big. But yeah, it's like literally falling off as I speak. You but look beautiful. Like everything would have to be taken in. But if it were... Mm -hmm. It's got, like, I love a three-quarter sleeve. I love that a lot, or half sleeve, or whatever it is. This is more of a contender than the last one, so I think this actually could very well be my wedding dress, which is the scariest thing I've ever said in my whole life. Because um, <laughs> how do you find your dress, like, a year out? Mm -hmm. This, it's just so comfortable. I could literally wear this all day. Mm -hmm. It is that comfortable, and I think that's a big seller for me. And it just does, it looks elegant. Mm -hmm without making me look the way I don't want to. Mm -hmm. It keeps falling down though, so I think if the lace, yes, if the lace is up here, I'm a happy person. So let me get a little closer so you guys can see. Look at how pretty, look at how pretty. Mm -hmm. And I don't even need my sleeves, which is kind of like, why did I buy those, but whatever. <laughs> it's stunning, it is absolutely stunning. It doesn't need a crinoline or anything, it flows the way I want it to, it does it. Yeah, it spins. It's good. Um, please let me know in the comments what you guys think about this one because I think this is my top contender and I may actually be wearing my wedding dress right now. So please, in the comments, let me know what you think. That will help me out a lot. It's like I'm bringing you guys to my bridal appointment. So <laughs> what do you get this? Uh, it's my favorite one. Out of 10. Easily a 9. Okay. Beautiful. What what do you not like about it? It's just the fit. Just the fit. Uh, but I think once that size to you, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Do <laughs> y'all see it like just drooping? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, once it's sized to me. Oh yeah. my gosh. All right, let's try the last one. Sure. Um, how do you beat this? Mm. <laughs> Okay, so this last dress, um, I actually was only going to buy four for this haul because that's an expensive haul, even though I'll get pretty much all the money back except for shipping. Um, I figured four was enough to spend money on, but as soon as I placed the order, it's like the next day they came out with a whole new line of dresses at the same price point, 50 bucks, right? And one of them was kind of that different look that I was going for, and it's not white and I'm so excited about it. It's it's just not white, and I really didn't want a white dress, and he's trying to hide it. I can see him. You can just come on out. It's fine. It's really not white, and it's got, like, this really gorgeous applique that's kind of a combination of embroidery and sequins, I guess, but you can bring it closer to this so that they can see the applique. It's different. It is so different, and it's got... It already has sleeves, they're sheer, so I don't know how I'd feel about that. Mm -hmm. um, and they may not be long enough, that mm -hmm. might be a problem if mm -hmm. they're not long enough, but it's just, I looked at it and I said, that's one of the colors I was really looking for, blushes, pinks. Um, this is a couple of colors. Mm -hmm. There's a purple grayish layer over a very mauve, layer which mauve is not one of my favorite colors I can't even get to it there we mm -hmm. go and then the skirt is also that same like pinkish color mm -hmm. and I think it would have been a little bit more bridal if it had a white under mm -hmm. layer but since it is what it is I'm excited to try it on mm -hmm. um, the top is absolutely beautiful um, I was a little worried I would hate the embroidery but I'd have to see it on right now it looks a little 
ice skater to mm. me. But we'll see. Even if, like, it's not a wedding dress, this would just be just a beautiful dress to have for, like, a formal night on a cruise. Mm. A cruise, or I don't know what just happened. I just couldn't talk for a second. Mm -hmm. Um, you the get universe is like, cruise. no cruises, it's 2020. <laughs> no, I'm thinking like 2022, okay? Yeah. This is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's try it on. Okay, so the first word that I said when I put this on, I can't say on camera because it's not a good word because I love this dress too. Now I have two dresses that I'm in love with and I don't know what to do. So this one is obviously very different. It's not white and I love that. I wanted something different, but the other one felt more like a wedding dress. Well, let me focus on this one for a second. So what I love, you can really see, let me see if I can get closer so you guys can see that. You can see the appliques just glisten in the light and I love that. Now I was worried that this would just be too much, but honestly, it's not. This is stunning and I'm warm, but it's see-through, so I'm actually still pretty cool. And my arms are exposed, but they're covered. And that's important to me. I love the gradient that this dress has. I think it's stunning. And again, it is very big on me. So you guys have to envision that it actually fits. <laughs> um, this is how I'd be wearing my hair, possibly with like an accessory or something. What do you think? I think this one is absolutely beautiful. I know that we talked about um, you wanting to do it your way and what you like and what you want, and you didn't want a traditional style dress. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. And I think that I love, I love how this dress in every different light looks different. Yeah, I wonder how it's gonna look outside. Yeah, you know when we showed it <laughs> just a second ago. Um, it was so it different. Was darker. It was very dark, and, and now here it's in not. This light, it's a little, you know, brighter, and then outside and open light, it's going to keep changing, and I love that. And I'm also very comfortable. Yes. I have to say that too. I am extremely, extremely comfortable. I keep looking in the mirror. I'm sorry. I just can't get over how beautiful this is. Um, now the idea is not to keep more than one dress, because by the time I'm done with these dress hauls, I will have spent the money that I would have spent on a very expensive dress. So I can't do that. I have some thinking to do and I only have today to do it because I have to send them back. So um, I need to release this like ASAP so I can get some opinions. Um, so maybe we'll release it tomorrow and I can get some opinions and maybe you can return it Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> but I love it. Mm -hmm. I feel so comfortable. I feel like a princess, but I also feel like an alternative princess, I guess. I feel like a fairy, mm. but Love my white socks. <laughs> oh well. Um, I don't know what to do. I I feel like I feel amazing in this dress, but I felt amazing in the last dress. I will say this one will require much less alteration than the other one. The other one will have to be taken in on lace, and that it could be a very expensive alteration. And this one, all I have to do is have the seam like taken in, mm -hmm. and I'm good to go. I'm literally good to go get married right now. Want to go get married right now? Sure. Yeah, okay. In the living room? Sure, okay. yeah. Okay. I do everything else in the living room. <laughs> so, um, yeah, please, please, please post in the comments what you think between dress number four and dress number five. I really need help. So, um, yeah, I guess I will reluctantly take this dress off now and finish this haul. That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah, um, really cool. I always, I, it's been years and years and years since I tried on wedding dresses and I forgot how exhausting it is. Um, first of all, they're just very heavy. And second of all, there's a lot of emotion that comes with trying on these dresses. And I, I don't really know that I found my dress today. Mm -hmm. um, I will let you guys know in a future vlog if I decided to keep one of them or not. Mm -hmm. I really just need to think a little bit more because there are a couple that I'm... I'm pretty excited about, and then definitely there were a couple that I'm like, mm, let's <laughs> just not. No thanks. <laughs> um, I'm also wary to choose right now mm -hmm. because we are either getting married in a little under a year mm -hmm. from today, or we're getting married a little under two years from mm -hmm. today, or somewhere in between. And I just don't know that I'm gonna wanna wear the same thing in two years that I wanna wear today. Cause oh, my yeah. style changes all the time, like everybody's does. So, you know, keeping one that I could have another use for mm -hmm. somewhere, 
would be smart because then it wouldn't be a waste of money. I don't know. I have a lot to think about, but I will let you guys know in a future vlog if I decided to keep one and why, that kind of thing. So thank you guys for joining us for this dress try-on haul. Um, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, this whole journey of planning this wedding is being put on this channel. Mm -hmm. So if we have a conversation about the wedding, it's being vlogged and put on this channel. And that is for two reasons. One, we really just want to document the whole process so that, you know, when we're 80, we can watch it and go, oh, look how stupid we were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but also like to help you guys, because mm -hmm. I know some of you might be planning a wedding or you might be thinking someday that you want to, or you might be, you know, wanting a second one because COVID made you realize that life is short. Um, who even knows? And we thought that if we documented our process, it would help you guys figure out how to create a budget. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for in a dress? Yep. Anything that you think. So thank you for being along on this adventure with us. And please subscribe to this channel. Become a part of our adventure with us. And hit the thumbs up if you liked this video. I usually say something like, you like wedding dresses, but... I mean, half y'all might hate wedding dresses, so I don't know. Hit the thumbs up button just to help us out, okay? Yeah. Hit that thumbs up for us. Yeah. <laughs> but like she said, there's a bunch of different types of videos on this channel, so make sure you check all those out as well from our excellent adventure all the way to... Podcasts. Podcasts. We have a podcast that comes out every Thursday. Um, and then we also have fun little challenges that we yeah, do. Yeah, like each unicorn other. yoga. Why not? <laughs> in so. onesies. It's great. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you in our next excellent adventure episode. I'm Safety Scissors. And I'm Duct Tape. We're out of here. Bye.